Hey everyone, Taylor here from Get Taylor Fit. Today, I'm going to be talking about updates to my competition prep. Currently, I am five and a half weeks out from my competition. So this video is going to go into all the different things that have been going on during my prep. I'll talk about the, my current cardio state. I'll talk about my diet. I'll talk about my workouts. I'll talk about my mental state. And then also just some tips and insight if you're looking to compete in the future. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and stick around for my competition prep update. All right, let's get into this. So first thing is my cardio. Currently, I am doing two 45-minute sessions per day. So typically... I'll do one session in the morning and then afternoon I'll hit my other 45 minute session. I had bumped it up from uh, a 145 minute session and a 30 minute session the past couple weeks. My coach and I are pushing my cardio because the weight wasn't moving. Um, I, the scale was stuck for a little bit. So we bumped up our cardio and then also the diet changed. So the scale is starting to move now in the right direction. Since I'm five and a half weeks out, I need to make sure that I'm in a good spot as far as weight and how I look. I want to be able to kind of coast into the competition. My last competition, I really had to push the last four weeks to get the weight off. So I don't want to be in the same position this time around. As far as cardio, we're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep the same thing going forward until uh, I'm told otherwise by my coach. But as far as cardio, two 45-minute sessions. From my personal perspective, I could see them bumping up to an hour as we get closer to the competition. But for right now, we're sticking to two 45-minute sessions. Since it's working, I am hoping we keep it at that length and not have to bump it up. But that's where we are as far as cardio. All right, next piece I want to talk about is my current diet. Now, fair warning, this diet I do not advise anyone to do unless you're consulted with a coach. It is really extreme. It's extreme for me but we have to do it in order to get the weight to move. So right now I'm at four meals a day, uh, no carbs, uh, very low fat. That's just kind of the situation that I'm in in order to get the scale to move. From my last time out, I know that what worked best for me was cutting out carbs, having veggies, then having you know, every, let's say four or five days while in a carb day. When I had those carb days, I would my weight would shift a little bit up just because I was holding on to some water. But I know it works best for my body, and this definitely does. This isn't something that I'll do for a, a long-term diet solution. This is only going to be up until the competition, and then I'll go back to a normal diet. So please take that with a grain of salt that this isn't forever. This is just temporary. Um, you know, my, my food intake is I have a couple protein shakes. I have a meal with some lean meats, and then in the morning, I typically have eggs and uh, egg whites. So it's very... Very low carb, so I'm very low energy, but it's working for me. The scale's moving in the right direction, and that's where I need it to be. So I got to suck it up and do it so I can get to where I want to be. All right, the next topic I want to go through is current workouts. Currently, I am working out six times a week. Within that six times a week, three times a week, I work out with a trainer. Typically, I train Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays with my trainer. I have three leg workouts per week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday are leg days. Tuesday is a chest, shoulder, tricep workout. Thursdays is a back, bicep workout. And then Saturday is more of a upper body conditioning day. I've been using this schedule since my last prep, so I'm, I'm pretty used to it now. Anything less than six days a week is a little bit odd to me. But, you know, as I'm starting to reduce my calories, reduce my carbs, the workouts are starting to get harder just because I'm super fatigued and tired. And then throw in the two 45-minute sessions of cardio. So I'm pretty beat when I get to my workouts, but I'm still trying to push through. I don't see the workouts changing up into the competition. So six days a week working out, hitting all different muscle groups, especially likes three times a week since I'm competing in bikini. Super important to have defined glutes and hamstrings if you're competing in bikini. So that is what I'm doing as far as my workouts. All right, lastly, I want to talk about just my mental state. I am very tired. I don't think it matters how much I sleep. I'm just mentally fatigued. My body's fatigued. You know, there's some days where I have uh, 
a lot more inflammation in my body. And that's just from, you know, constantly pushing my body to the limit, doing my cardio, doing my, you know, strength training workouts. So I'm always mentally fatigued. You know, I'm starting to forget things. And this happened to me last prep too. The closer I get to the competition, the more I start to forget things. And I'm very tired and I'm not as alert as what's going on. Totally normal. You know, I still, like I said, I've gone through it before. It's just difficult when you're trying to work, you're trying to work out, you're trying to do all these different things and, you know, your mental state isn't 100%. So with that being said, if you're ever looking to compete, keep that in mind. The closer you get to the show, the more of a mental fatigue you're going to have as well as the physical piece. So my mental state is as best as it can be right now, but definitely could be better. But I know once I get to the show, once I finish, as soon as I start putting – you know, normal food back into my body, I'll get right back to 100%. So that's my current mental state. All right, lastly, I said I'd have some tips and tricks as far as getting ready for a show. And I've done some different videos on this before, but just to reiterate, number one, if you hire a coach, make sure you communicate with them. I struggle a lot with communication because I see myself as well. If the scale doesn't move, I failed. I don't want to be a failure. Um, it's just the way I'm wired, unfortunately. But be sure to communicate with your coach as far as how you're feeling, what's going on with weight, anything that will affect the overall outcome, definitely communicate with your coach. If you are going to do a competition, make sure that you plan accordingly. Well, what does that mean? Well, have a plan for the 12 weeks of I'm not going to travel. I'm not going to really go anywhere. And if I do, I'm going to plan my meals in this fashion. You know, I had posted a video that I had traveled to drill. And I made sure I had someone who made all my meals for me. So I stayed on track the entire time I was away. So with that being said, you want to look at the macro piece of, okay, here's my 12 weeks. What do I have going on? How do I arrange my schedule? Or how do I plan accordingly so I stay on track for those 12 weeks? The second piece is to plan accordingly on the micro level. Micro level meaning on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I know that, let's say it's a Tuesday. I know Tuesday in the morning, I have training with my trainer. And then after that, I build in when am I going to do cardio based on my work schedule. You always want to look ahead for the next day, kind of plan your day out to make sure you get all your workouts in, make sure you plan your meals accordingly, make sure you're drinking enough water, making sure you're doing everything your coach is telling you to do. That's super important. And the third thing I also struggle with this is to really enjoy the process, even though it is mentally and physically draining. Um, and that, that's that's tough to say. But when you look back on, you're like, wow, I accomplished so much in 12 weeks. You know, what else can I do? And, and that's what I did in my last competition. I saw, you know, I lost 20 pounds in five months to get ready for my show. And when I took a step back, I was like, wow, that's an amazing accomplishment. What can I do next? Even though there's a lot of ups and downs, you know, I talked about how I'm feeling right now. It's part of the process. But that ultimate result is just amazing. When you step on stage and you look the way you do, you feel amazing. You feel like, well, I feel like Wonder Woman when I get on stage. You know, it was just an amazing feeling that I finally accomplished something that I always wanted to do. And now I can't stop doing it. So um, enjoy the process. Even though it'll be difficult, it is rewarding. And, you know, whatever whatever's going on, don't give up. If you want to do this, stick to it, get through it. Step on that stage and feel amazing. That's my five and a half week update as far as my competition prep. So my competition is the end of March. I'll continue to push through. I'll have some more update videos along the way. With that said, be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stick around for more videos. And as always, stay tailor fit.